What's going on guys, Yash here. Welcome back to the channel. What we're going to be doing today for you guys to see is reviewing some of your guys' dropshipping stores. Now, if you guys have already not joined my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds, please do join. I will leave a link in the description below. And as well, check out all of my social media channels, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Links will be in the description below. So uh, I basically asked about two or three weeks ago, you know, who wanted a free store review? I thought that, you know, it'd be a great video for all of my subscribers to see, you know, some real life uh, examples as well, right? And me actually going in and, uh, you know, doing like a very quick audit of, you know, their store, basically the main touches, um, you know, so you guys can take some feedback and implement that into action on your guys' own dropshipping stores as well. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving away some, you know, free key takeaways that you guys should always have in mind, uh, you know, when you guys actually design, you know, your guys' dropshipping stores, you know, just kind of what to have in mind, right? Especially, you know, going in 2020 and onwards. Okay, so guys, definitely stay tuned for the entire video. This is a jam-packed video and definitely, definitely guys do take notes, you know, as, lo as a lot of these things you guys can actually apply to your guys' own stores as well. So let's jump straight into it, guys. The first store, right, we have is uh, Petflix. I am pretty sure this is um, this is a pet niche store. So it's good that you have a pop-up that's absolutely amazing because you guys want to build an email list over time, okay? If you guys, you know, especially if you guys have a store that you guys want to build something into sustainable, something long-term and capitalize on it, you know, you want quality customers, revisiting customers, and lifetime customers, right? You want to build a community, right? That's what really a brand is about, which I will get into a little bit later on. I don't want to get too off topic just now. So it's good that you're asking for uh, people's emails. What I would really um, do is ask for people's first names. So you can, um, you know, address when you're actually sending out email marketing campaigns, um, you know, their first name with the actual email, okay? So you guys can use emails for retargeting on Facebook. You can actually upload a CSV file. Um, and create value-based lookalike audiences and a whole bunch of stuff, which is a whole other topic. But you guys can also, um, you know, you guys should be collecting emails. You guys can later send remarketing campaigns out to them, or sorry, email marketing campaigns out to these people. Okay, so ask for the first name and their email. Uh, but another one main thing is it has to be incentivizing, okay? So all it says here is sign up to our newsletter and get 10% discount code. But People don't give their email easily all the time, okay, even though you're offering 10%. So have something more incentivizing, like, hey, sign up to our newsletter and stay updated with our uh, latest pet uh, pet tips um, and our latest launch products and also get 10% off on your first purchase, okay? Something like that. So that will incentivize them, um, you know, to give their email. It's a win-win situation, right? They're getting that incentive. Oh, cool, you know, they're going to be updated with new product launches and, you know, new pet trips and stuff like that. And in return, you're also going to be getting their emails, okay? So that's what you guys should be having in mind to really utilize this offer to its full potential. So now that is that is done, let me move myself here, guys. Um, cool. So free shipping on order of $70 or more. So guys, if you guys are drop shipping and if you guys are especially drop shipping traditionally um, from AliExpress and even from other suppliers, I highly, highly recommend having multiple shipping options, but especially have free shipping. Um, like bigger players like Amazon and other online retailers always offer free shipping. Um, and again, people love free shipping, okay? So always have a free shipping option no matter what. And then maybe you can have like a $4.95, $5.95, $7.95 um, offer if they spent like a certain number um, or a certain amount or more or um, if they want to get their um, item faster to their actual home, okay? So always have that. It just incentivizes people a little bit more. So that's what something I would make relevant to. Um... This right here, I don't really like this. I know a lot of people have these frequently bought kind of pop-ups, but I think it's very distracting, um, especially on mobile. It's very, very distracting. Like, considering the space, the physical space is actually very small. People's attention spans are very, very less these days. Um, so that's something I would personally disable. Now, guys, this is just my opinion. You know, feel free to share your opinions in the comments as well, okay? Um, this right here, I think it's fine. Um, again, it's a little bit distracting. Um, so, you know, I personally don't have it on my stores. Um, on the top, it's great that you have home shop. I would definitely have a drop down underneath shop so it's more organized and people can look for something that 
is a little bit more specific, okay? Because this is related to almost all pets, or at least dogs and um, at least dogs and cats, okay? So you want to have a drop-down menu. Um, about us, let's see. About us is great. Um, is there a pet flick? Okay, awesome. So. Um, whoever store this is, you've done a great job at storytelling, um, which is very important. Sometimes when people have never heard of your brand before, people become naturally curious. And, you know, they'll want to find out, you know, what your store is actually about. And remember, guys, people buy with emotion and justify with logic, especially in a pet niche, okay, or pet niche, however you want to say it. Um, so this is a great job. You know, you really storytell. It gives the indirect reason for people to really invest into your guys' stores, okay? Tell, talk about how you guys started, why you guys started. You know, why should people invest into your products or into your brand? So this is absolutely amazing, and it's really apparent at the top here, which is, again, very relevant to micro-branding, okay? And this theme is amazing as well because um, it looks like it's a custom-coded theme or um, it is a uh, paid theme, okay? So that is good. FAQs and stuff like that looks good. I'm not going to be diving too into detail because I do want to cover the main points over here. Over 100 happy clients. Okay, shop, contact, uh, most popular products. Um, I So I also don't recommend putting everything on your store on sale. It kind of devalues your brand a little bit. Um, even though like Black Friday, Cyber Monday, and like Q4 and some of their big e-commerce days, you don't want to put everything on your site on sale okay it's just a little bit sketchy and again it does devalue your brand a little bit more um so you have the, in the so social medias down here which is great uh customer care menu uh okay so one thing i would do have is a track order um you want to make sure that people can come back to your website and track their orders okay so the app i actually use is um it's called tra this one uh, after ship I forgot the name for a second guys after ship app Shopify that's the app I I use um, they support like DHL USPS UPS a whole bunch of different carriers so this is the app I use um, they have a free version and a paid version I believe so so that's something I would uh, include in your bottom in your bottom uh, footer menu right there um, and then if you want to in include like a shipping policy or shipping information or something like that, that's great as well. Um, this sharing is caring incentive that you have here. I love that, um, that, you know, how you guys donate a dollar from every order to an animal or organization or dog sh uh, shelter. Be more specific about it make it a little bit more apparent. This is something that you guys can even use, um, in your ad copy as well. Okay. Um, so make sure you make it more apparent, you know, name a specific charity, make a, or name a specific or organization. Now, whether you guys donate or not donate, that's up to you. I don't judge. That's just, um, you know, based on moral decisions or moral beliefs. Okay. So, you know, be more specific, make it more apparent on your homepage as well. You know, maybe put it somewhere on the homepage or, you know, put it, put it right here. Okay. It can make a huge difference. Um, again, people buy with emotion, so it will, again, incentivize them to buy. Um, and I see here that you try loading your in Instagram. Um, it says feed couldn't load, token invalid. So you definitely, definitely want to fix that. Again, our main goal is to be as professional as possible, okay? Which, again, stay away for the key takeaways. Where I'm, I'm going to basically wrap everything up at the end, okay? And talk about just what to keep in mind for your site in general in 2020 and onwards very important so make sure you change that or you actually fix that or just troubleshoot it in general okay um i just want to look at one of your product pages in general um you know see what they consist of <clears throat> motion ball for pets so what i really recommend guys is if you want to again create something long term and it's okay if you guys aren't having private suppliers or aren't white labeling just yet um, every single title, how you want to name it is your store name and then the name of the actual product. Okay. Um, and you don't even have to say for pets cause obviously this is for pets. Okay. Like Nike doesn't say sneakers for athletes, right? So you want to have pet flicks, motion ball, something like that. Okay. It just sounds a little bit more trustworthy and it builds more confidence that way. That's what you guys should be aiming for. Um, 
So make sure, like, obviously these variants, guys, um, again, this is something that, that applies to every product page. The variants match the actual color. This is a little bit confusing. Um, so make sure that is always fixed. Um, I agree. So make sure they don't have to do this, guys. I agree. Like, basically, you guys want, you, you want people to go from the product page to the checkout page in as many few steps as possible, right? Backtrack as to what I was saying about people's attention spans getting lower and lower. Um... And you don't want you don't want uh, second thoughts for people. This add to cart sticky is nice. Um, okay, so this the timer. I I have a few exceptions when I'm using it. Only during like big e-commerce days. Otherwise, I don't use it. It just looks pretty spammy. What always used to work before doesn't work anymore. Okay. Um, so again, that's fine because it is Q4. So maybe you have some I don't know Black Friday, Cyber Monday, or Christmas promotions going on. Um, Description is okay. Um, I would definitely recommend using some bold words. Um, and then you do have reviews, which is also great as well. So that is good. Um, I just want to go through your funnel really quick. Let's just go to buy it now. And I need that little uh, Jeopardy music in the background, guys, if you guys are familiar with it. Um, okay, so this goes directly to the checkout page. Um, I like to go to the add to cart page and then to the checkout page. Um, but again, it's something that you guys have to test personally with your store, okay? Uh, like, for example, if I have a one product store, then that will go directly to the checkout. Uh, more often, if I have like a niche or general net store, which is one of my main brands, it's more of a general net store, then sometimes I'll direct them to the add to cart page. So that it just really, really works and doesn't work with your guys' store. It's something that you guys have to really test out. Um, there's an app that's really cool. It's called Lucky Orange. You can actually track and visually see customers' activity, like what they're actually doing. How are they clicking? What are they viewing? It actually shows you their recordings. Um, so definitely check out Lucky Orange. It's something that you guys can actually test out and make these little micro changes you know, in your funnel in general. Okay. So that's something I do recommend doing. Other than that, um, yeah, make those changes. Um, you have another pop-up here, awesome emails, can't miss deals, new product launches, that's great. Um, ask for their first name, and um, yeah, make sure they're getting that discount code after. Um, cool. So this looks like it is a booster theme, if I am not mistaken. Um, do make sure you have your social media right here, your Facebook and Instagram or Pinterest or anything else that you guys have that relates to your actual store. Make sure you have that up there. Um, okay, guys. Same thing about shipping, definitely offer free shipping and then offer like additional paid shipping um, if they want it faster, if they spend a certain number uh, or like a certain amount basically, okay? Um, so definitely offer free shipping always. Um, you also want a logo. Right now it says Glowistic, but you want a logo to represent your actual brand, not only on your website, but also on social, on social media, right? When people see that Nike symbol, um, or that, you know, what, as soon as if people see that symbol, the little check mark that relates to Nike, people instantaneously know, you know, this is a Nike product. Okay. Obviously that's at a much larger scale, but again, same concepts. So you guys want to be unique and, you know, or be unique to your actual, actual brand and actually have a logo. Okay. So I would definitely work on that. Um, catalog. So you have home and then you have catalog. But catalog also means um, catalog. So you just have everything here in catalog. I would get rid of that. Um, I would have beauty, fashion. So this is nice. Like you have everything broken down. You can also have like catalog and then these drop downs and then other sub drop downs within that. So that's something that you can have as well. Um, Novelty shop. Okay, maybe you can have this and stuff that's just unique and stuff to your store. Um, that may not fit your other categories, but directly try to have everything as succinct and simple as possible so people don't get confused. Okay, track my order is fine. I would also have an about us page right after the home right here. Um, again, same concept goes as to what I was talking about the last store. Okay, um, you know, have people known about your actual store and what you guys are offering. Okay, story tell. People absolutely love that. A glow, you have two banners right here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, make sure that, guys, it, make sure if you guys have have banners, um, you know, make sure that they serve some kind of purpose, obviously. Okay, you want to make the space or utilize the space to its full potential. 
Um, best sellers, this just looks a little bit empty, so I would have four right here. Again, don't put everything on sale. Um, you have your different categories, different collections. You do have your story here, which is great, but I would add a little bit more meat into it in the actual about us. But again, this is not a bad thing to have. Um, since this is a booster theme, you can actually import your Instagram, and you can also import customer reviews and testimonials as well. Um, you know, make your homepage a little bit packed, okay? Make it a little bit engaged. It doesn't have to be too much. There's no right or wrong. Um, but again, just give a little bit more brand-like feeling, okay? So main menu, that's fine. Um, quick links, I would change this to customer care. Um, and I would also have track order. and Or track order you have up here, which is fine. But I, I would also have FAQs as well, okay? And I would get rid of designed by booster theme i think it's a very quick fix if you go in the liquid theme basically it's not something not that um you know too difficult to do so i would definitely do that and then i want to go on your product page really quick um let's go on these right here these are actually pretty cool i've never seen these um again guys same with the product title make sure like glowistic six p's rosette brush set okay Tell me how different does this would sound compared to Glowistic, right? This makes such a bigger difference, guys, okay? Um, ignore the caps. Or what you guys can even do um, is have this trademark icon logo. Just to spice it up a little bit more even, um, you guys can even have something like this, okay? Again, micro-branding, okay? So you see how much this makes a difference compared to this? All right, so be wary of that. Um, okay, so your variants are changing, uh, or your pictures are changing as per to the variants, which is great. Add to cart, uh, product details. I would get rid of this read more. I would disable it, basically. There's an option in the booster theme you can do that. Um, have this in bold black. Um, you want the description to be apparent. Um, um, and yeah, use some bold words, maybe talk about some features or specifications about the actual product, okay? Makeup products, people oftentimes want to know stuff like that. So, back to cart, so this goes to the cart page, which is fine. Um, okay, I'd also have, I, I, I know with the booster theme, you can um, have some kind of trust badger, badger on the bottom. So I'm not too much of a big fan for trust badges, but having one doesn't really hurt, okay? The one I personally use is this one, um, Shopify Trust Badge. And this doesn't look too spammy either, guys. That's why I personally like using this one. And it's transparent, and it's very clean looking, okay? This is the one I personally use. Let me just move my way out of here. This is the one I use, guys. So. Um, you know, feel free to have something like that. It doesn't really take away too much. Um, again, the add to cart sticky button is good. Um, it's not in the way or anything like that. Um, proceed to checkout. So the checkout, um, more than more than enough, it seems. Um, you know, the checkout is fine. Let me just fill out this info really, really quick, guys, and I will be back. Cool, guys. I am back. So, again, like with your shipping, you want to have some sort of free option. What I usually have is I will have free insured shipping, and I will basically make that free. Okay, and then I also have another option. This is exactly how I titled them, guys. Two shipping options. Priority secured shipping. And I'll have this at like $5.95 or something like that. So the logic behind this is usually with your margins and drop shipping, you're selling the product, you know, two, three, four, five, even 10x more. You guys can afford the free shipping because if you guys are shipping through Al AliExpress, you know, e-packet is usually no more than like maybe one or two bucks. But sometimes most suppliers have a um, have an option to ship from the U.S. or whatnot. Um, you know, that is a little bit faster or even through e-packet. Um, if you pay like two, three, or four bucks more, you can send it as a, at a faster rate. So if you guys charge five ninety five or six ninety five for that, and if you guys make it apparent like it's only seven to ten days, or five to ten days depending on your supplier, people will pay for it. Even if it's costing you four bucks, um, you know you're you're basically keeping that extra two, three, four bucks 
profit on top okay so that's what I really really recommend for shipping if you guys if assuming most of you guys are you know using AliExpress or CJ drop shipping or Silk Road or whatnot you know more of the traditional way if you guys have in-house um, inventory and are shipping out that's a whole other different story okay that's really not even drop shipping at all so that's my best advice for shipping and you know this also helps um, this also very much helps in AOV as well, right? Even if it's only two or three bucks per order, that really adds up over time, okay? So that is that. And the last one we have is 24th Shops. Um, again, make sure if you're using a picture, it's something more relevant. Um, again, you want every single space um, to serve some kind of purpose, okay? Um, same with the newsletter as the first store. Don't just say sign up to our newsletter for 15% off. Make it more incentivizing like, oh, what else, you know, will the person actually get? Um, latest news, latest updates, um, an extra an extra 10% off after a second order. Something like that will, you know, will really in, in, uh, incentivize them basically, okay? Um, so that is that. Also, again, have a logo that differentiates your that differentiates yourself, that basically represents what your brand's about. So having a logo is, again, very, very important, okay? You guys can easily make one on uh, Canva, canva.com, which is what I use for social media, website, um, you know, just a bunch of stock HD pictures. You guys can pay someone on Fiverr or Upwork for like five or seven bucks to and have it made. Um, this header right here, I would make it a little bit more bolder. I would make it a little bit more apparent so it stands out. Um, Free shipping nation on plus cash on delivery, okay. Um, so these social medias are good. Um, so 24 shops. Okay, so these aren't connected. So make sure if you have a Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, and YouTube, make sure these are connected. Make sure these are all relevant. Um, so home products categories. Again, I would just have like products or shop or our catalog and have a drop down menu um, or something like that just to make it a little bit more easier uh, about us this is good um, apparel stores and department. so again this I would make it more personal about us is usually very personal okay um, so make it a little bit more personal don't always focus on like shopping experience and we have the best quality of products yada 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 I see that on so many um, about us pages um, that basically have no effort. So guys, differentiate your got your guys' self. Be innovative. Be creative. No one knows your store or your brand better than yourself, or at least I hope. Okay. Um, you have this little Facebook chat right here, which is great. It allows people to you know contact you other than the contact us or um, email as well. It's always a great option to have. Um, I think you also have two ways. You have two Facebook chat icons. You have this, and then you also have this. Um, I think one of them is from Recard app or something like that. Um, so make sure you only have one. Okay, you don't need two of those. Um, again, it just takes some more space, especially on mobile. Um, okay. So if obviously if you guys don't have a physical retail location, then don't put all of this and also add another picture here. This looks very incomplete, very unprofessional. So again. When you guys are filling up everything in the back end of your Shopify, guys, like view it as a customer would or as a potential customer would. Okay, these are little pointers that people may even go on your page and not order from you guys after, or won't order for you guys from you guys again. Okay, guys. So that is that. This homepage banner serves no purpose. Again, have something more with human. Human perception is very important, or with people or something more relevant. Maybe about a holiday sale or Christmas sale. Use Canva to really customize it and put that effort. Um, this I would also get rid of. There's really no need. Some some of you guys may disagree, um, but again, if you guys can agree with me, you know that's the reason why. Because it's just kind of distracting. Um, okay, again, this is very generic. Spice it up a little bit. Make it more personal. Um, okay. So your add to cart button, I don't see anywhere. Um, I don't know if this is a one product store, but it, I don't think so. But you want your buy it now or add to cart button and the variant colors or buttons are your options. You want them on the top because that's what's going to be relevant. Um, also, make sure you don't have two fifty percent offs. Um, 
or two percent symbols. Um, the same thing with the title, make sure you name it your own, which again, you did right here, which is absolutely amazing. Um, let's see if you have it in the bottom one too. Okay, so you don't over here. So if you're going to put 24 chops over here, then make sure you put it down here as well. Consistency, guys, throughout your website and throughout your funnels is main. People aren't dumb. People take that into consideration, okay? Um, again, be careful of your spacings and your descriptions. Um, if you guys are using pictures or GIFs or anything like that, make sure they're centered. Make sure the spacing is even. Um, you don't need a bullet point for this. Um, again, you want to make sure you have a space. And regardless, this should be up there um, by the product price. Definitely make this font a little bit more bolder. Um, you can't really see it. Right now. Okay. So make sure this is working. Like if someone puts their first and last name in their email, make sure they're they're getting that code on the pop-up on the next screen or to their email or something like that. Mm -hmm. um, so make this customer support. And you also want to have um, your, uh, your main menu down here as well. Um, again, remove design by booster theme. It should be a quick fix in the liquid portion of the actual theme. Um, and then categories. So I don't think even these are clickable. Um, and this also seems, I'm, I'm not sure if this is a general store. If it's a general store, um, definitely don't have a general store, especially from 2020 and onwards and you're just starting out. No doubt general stores are doing great. Some of them are doing six, seven, eight figures, but a lot of these general stores have been established for years, okay? Um, so again, micro branding is very, very, very important, guys, okay? That's what you guys want to really focus on, which I will be just talking about in a little bit. Um, so, you know, consistency is very important, like I was saying. So I don't think I can even click on any other products, so definitely fix that. Um, and stay away from a general store. You want to either start out uh, with a niche or general niche store, niche being more specific, like watches, sunglasses, phone cases. General niche being like outdoors because there's other sub niches within that. It will give you more traction and it will give you more leverage to, again, form a community of people. Why do so many people go to Sephora? Because they focus on their makeup products, their health products, their beauty products. If, if Sephora were to release, um, I don't know, like like a little gym capsule like here, where you can put your protein powder and stuff like that, not many people would be attracted to that. Why? Because they don't specialize in that. So again, you want returning, revisiting quality customers if you guys want to be in this game for the long term and have a solid brand, okay? Um, sometimes at one product store, you guys want to capitalize and make money in the short run. That's completely fine. But again, this is the bigger picture in e-commerce that I'm really, really talking about, okay? So fix that um, and really hone down on what kind of store you want to have because 24 shops, that does sound like it's something that's general. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, okay? So guys, that really leads me into my next point. Some of my key takeaways are... In 2020 and onwards, guys, really, really, really focus on micro-branding. What that basically means is having a brand, but micro-branding is on a smaller scale, okay? So you want to have a clean homepage, you know, make the use of your theme as much as possible, familiarize yourself with the theme, don't get lazy, uh, clean product pages, uh, a clean overall funnel from your homepage or product page to add to cart to checkout, and payment gateway, clean funnel, you know, use a professional paid theme. Paid themes comes, you know, they're, they they come with a lot of apps and widgets that will save you a lot of time and money in the long run. Um, they're also super customizable. They're more responsive. They're faster loading page times. So definitely use a paid theme to differentiate yourself from, you know, just other generic traditional dropshippers, okay? And also, guys, have active and engaged social media pages, which I will be doing a whole other video about later on about how you guys should structure your social medias but a lot of people overlook and neglect that and having that social proof and brand authenticity will really you know reflect vice versa and bounce off each other and you know create that trustworthy and feel of confidence you know on, on a customer's point of view um build up email lists you know through pop-ups um you know even write blogs monthly or weekly blogs um that's also great for seo and organic traction and organic traffic um, and you utilize those email lists long term, right? Once you have over 500 email lists, you can utilize that, um, you know, to again, remarketing campaigns on Facebook um, or, any, or any other ad platforms that you guys are using. I personally use Facebook and Instagram 
and um, also send out uh, email marketing, um, you know, promotions as well, whether through newsletters or whatnot. And um, have pre and post checkout upsells, which is um, a lot I didn't see. Um, well, some of these products I clicked were pretty random, but I'm not sure you know what the trigger product or the product you guys were promoting was. But make sure you have pre and post checkout upsells, meaning if somewhere were to add to cart before they check out, you want two to three pre checkout upsells, and you also want post checkout upsells after basically someone purchases okay to increase your AOV average order of value so again guys I always say e-commerce has a multitude of components that go within these just within having a successful business and it's important that you you know practice all these components and you practice your skills as well but a lot of people jump straight into marketing and advertising but they don't realize that again I'm not bashing you guys but um, you know Having a well put together website and an optimized website in general is your main base. That's your main foundation. That's the fundamental that you guys should have because everything after that, the marketing, the advertising, the influencer marketing, all that, that all builds on top of your website, okay? Because that's going to be the main thing that you're going to be driving traffic to. So focus on your website. Make sure it's optimized. Um, you know, if you want me to review your website and, you know, hop on a one-on-one -on -one call, you can also do that. I will leave a link to that in the description below, you know, where you guys can, I can actually, you know, screen share and whatnot, you know, do whatever you have to do, take feedback and really go on your site as a consumer mindset and see how they would feel. Would you feel trustworthy? Would you feel confident? Would you actually buy from that website? Okay. So focus on micro branding guys the consumer market's getting more and more attained of just general shitty looking excuse my language drop shipping stores okay so that's something you guys want to stay away from and focus on the base fake focus on the foundation hence your website okay guys so if you guys did you know <laughs> um you know really get some insight from this please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys already haven't again join my facebook group down below ecom masterminds i think we're almost up to 1500 members like i said before if you guys want to hop on a one-on-one -on -one growth call with myself i only take 20 individuals every single month um but anyway the link to that will be in the description below along the link to my other social medias if you guys want to stay updated with me so guys um, you know, definitely check some of these pointers out. Maybe you guys can implement some of those pointers on your stores and, you know, really benefit from, from there, you know, really increase your conversion rate and, you know, just overall take your store to the next level as well. If you guys have any questions or thoughts, leave them in the comments below. Like the video, like I said, and I will check you guys out soon. Thank you so much. Peace.